Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Building. Command & Conquer, the Nod Campaign. Building. And when last we left off, we completely and utterly built the SAM sites in the wrong location. Because how are the SAM sites going to be able to protect our building. units and buildings if they're right next to the units and buildings? So instead, we're going to move building. the uh, SAM sites over to the edges of where our base will be, so that we don't have uh, the airstrikes complete. attacking all of our units. Complete. We've lost more than enough units as it is from the fact that we have uh, put the SAM sites building. in the wrong location. Also, here here come some GDI units, who will probably complete. actually target the uh, SAM site over... Oh, nope. Maybe they will? Looks like they're going around that tree there. Nope, they have Building. avoided the uh, SAM site and are instead going to attack complete. probably Building. from the north there. There are only a few of them. We should be able to deal with them. Hello? Well, that wasn't very uh, effective, was it? That's okay, though. Let's see what building. we can do with uh, building a few more sandbags. Complete. As you saw by building. selling the uh, SAM sites, we got quite a few complete. more um, minigunners and we got some money back. And there is the uh, airstrike there targeting our um, minigunners, which is unfortunate, but it won't always building. be like that because we're going to put these um, SAM sites building. up here and around here so that um, if they try and do that building. again, we'll be able to stop them. Complete. At least I hope we'll Building. be able to stop them. Building. It's going to cost a little bit of uh, money to do so, Building. but it will be worth it in the long run. Also, by complete. using a uh, sandbag wall here, it prevents complete. the um, enemies from just walking arrived. straight over here by the Building. Tiberium and going directly to our power plants and silos. Also, the um, scrolling seems to change dramatically dependent on uh, loading files or anything like that. See, as you can see there, it went much faster. Complete. And yet it was going slower before. We're going to put one here, and then we're going to uh, build a few more sandbags, and then we're going to put another complete. one over here. Building. That way, it should be the case that um, any airstrike that tries to get through here. will have to deal with at least complete. a couple of building. the uh, SAM sites. Construction complete. There we go. One more. Building. Excellent. We'll sell these uh, sandbags here. They're not going to be very useful for the moment. And I think after we've done that, we'll just build a few more there, a few more here, just to make a kind of wall. Complete. We could sell these ones here, because nobody's going to be coming from behind here. And then building. a few more sandbags, and we're good to go. Complete. One here. Building. Ah, I see they're using the... Uh, Ah, they're going to go and attack the uh, SAM site there. That is good for us because it means they're not focusing on uh, hitting any of our units. Alright, let's build a kind of front door here. There we go. Carefully does it. We need to be exact. We may want to build a fourth SAM site as well. Also, that sandbag was put in completely the wrong location. Alright. Few more. Building. Really? Complete. You are going after the SAM site. Also, the grenades blow up the sandbags, which is a little awkward, but we can easily replace sandbags. Building. There's a lot more Tiberium on this map than complete. we can just see here. Alright. Nearly done? Building. It's not exactly the, well, the complete. smartest of entrances, because we don't have uh, any actual turrets to prevent any units from getting through, but hey, it's much better than how it was. We could put a fourth... There we go! This time they're just going after the building. SAM sites. We can actually build a uh, fourth SAM site and we'll put it here. And that way, we should be able to protect everything that we have. And once we've protected everything that we have, we can start building a force that we can use to obliterate the GDI base. Building. Starting primarily with light tanks. What we do want to use, though, are buggies. The buggies will be able to use to um, scout out the area. The light tanks are pretty good, but um, not as good as the uh, GDI medium tanks. We could send a small group of the uh, much weaker minigunners. Where are they? There's one there. If we send you two out, we can see if we can find any forces that will... Um, or any more Tiberium, because this Tiberium here won't last forever. Alright, what do we want here? We want more light tanks. Excellent. Reporting. Actually, no, On we want hold. a buggy Cancel. right now, because the buggy will be much better for scouting around. Construction complete. There we go. Reinforcements what can we find, buggy? Go and scout the perimeter. Yes. But we'll probably find a more GDI, like that grenadier right there. Hello? 
Unfortunately, buggies are quite good at dealing with grenadiers. Aha! I spy more Tiberium up here. A lot more Tiberium. Let's see just how much. Well, I think we found a new uh, supply. Oh, hello! Where are you coming from? That's five grenadiers that have just been placed there via helicopter. Now that is being sneaky. Hold up that grenadier! Okay, you really couldn't hold up that grenadier. In fact, you couldn't hold up anyone. Let's see what we can do and... Uh, there you are. You're indeed attacking that um, SAM site. Which is good for us, because it means you're very, very distracted. There we go. A few more sandbags and we'll be good. In fact, if we have a double layer of sandbags, that would stop them from uh, going after that SAM site. There we go. If in doubt, build complete. more sandbags. Building. Building. And another tank. And a few more miniguns. Maybe a flamethrower soldier or two. Haven't actually built complete. any of them yet. Should complete. probably do so. There we go. Nearly. Oh. Did you see there? If we'd have moved our inventory a little bit further Building. in, we wouldn't have lost anyone there. Complete. What we need to do now is we need to build a few flamethrower troops. There we are. Maybe we could use the, um... That one is, um, in some bad shape. Fortunately, repairing will deal with that. Let's show off some flamethrower troops, shall we? Flamethrower troops are absolutely fantastic at dealing with, um... Dealing with inventory. They do explode, however, when they die, which is not good whatsoever. We could send a tank as well to go and investigate, but I think this will be more than enough for now. Let's go up here, shall we? Actually, let's not go up there. Up there basically leads to Tiberium, and Tiberium is a bad place to lead any of your inventory. A little bit of exploration goes a long, long way in finding more sources of Tiberium, and finding enemies that are just hanging around. Here appears to be a small village. Oh, don't attack the village. Don't attack the village. Okay, you're going to... Ah, you can see there what happened to that uh, infantryman with the uh, flames? That's the collateral damage right there. If you um, have the flamethrower soldiers hit anyone, they will deal damage, even to your own soldiers. Flamethrower troops are quite expensive, so we're going to have to be very careful with them. We could send this one... Uh, minigunner out and see if we can find more um, interesting things. Anything else? Probably want another buggy Building. just to scout out around the area. And as you can see there, there was the uh, plane that delivered that uh, unit there. Just completely flying off the screen. And away! To who knows where. Oh, hello. We have found the, uh, the harvester. Yes, sir. We could probably destroy that harvester. That's probably a good idea. If we have a... Uh, Recon bike or two, we could Moving do up. that. Ah, now we've just unit lost another unit. Lost. That's probably some grenadiers. Yes, yes, that is. We could deal with grenadiers, though. Ready and waiting. Where are they going? Are you going to go and get that yes, buggy? That's a very, um, a very specific target. Yep, go and go get that buggy. I think the buggy can take out two of these. Yes, yes, it can. But we have found the, um, and there you go. We only lost a few units there. This is a much better SAM site position. And as you can see, the game has slowed down somewhat in uh, pace because we've got to the point now where we have to build um, fully fledged bases. If we move all these troops over to here, we should be okay. Now let's go and deal with that um, harvester. There we go. It's over here. Let's just start attacking it and then run away when they send a lot of soldiers after us because they're going to send a lot. But we just need to get out of here. A little bit of damage every single time is going to go a long, long way. Hello, Humvee. Bad news for you. You've met tanks. They're going to send this medium tank out after us. And we need to get that medium tank right now with focused fire. The uh, minigunners there we're not going to do so um, well with. We need to move back a little here. There we go. A little bit of focus fire, and we're good to go. We'll lose a tank out of this. We'll definitely lose a tank or even two. Yes, sir. As you can see, the um, the tanks are not very good at dealing with grenadiers at all. Yes, sir. But we did manage to deal with that quite comfortably. We 
dealt with a lot more units than were um, thrown at us, which is quite good. However, more units are coming our way, and they'll probably get distracted, yep, by the sound site. There we go. We'll deal with these. Excellent. The grenadier there blowing up did uh, cost us a few of our units. Also, you should probably... Gonna deal with them? There you go! No idea why they decided Building. not to attack there. Yes, sir. But we'll use this recon bike now to deal more damage to the um more damage to the harvester. The more we deal with the harvester, the better. Where, where is that harvester going? That's a good question, is it over here? Well we found a uh found one single minigunner who's not going to attack at all. But that's not good. You're going to die doing that. We're going to distract um, the GDI forces some more by blowing up this um, harvester. I don't think they can build more right now. I think they're incapable. Nearly got it. Nearly got it. There we go. And there's a technician. And away! All we need to do is flee at this point. I think we may have lost a few more units to an airstrike. But that's okay. They're going to build a few more yes, of these sir. tanks and basically oh, yeah. stockpile a large force. But this force combined should probably be able to deal with uh, this one. Yes, there we go. Excellent. So that's that dealt with. And the rockets will deal with the grenadiers and the minigunners. We probably need to build a few more sandbags, but that's okay. We did pretty well there. And without the... Um, Building. That the harvest of the GDI base is going to suffer. Have and that's good. Building. One solitary grenadier? I think we can deal with you. Yep. It is indeed under attack. And so are they. Ha <laughs> ha! You cannot stand against the might of Nod. Building. Nod will triumph. We probably need a few Building. more minigunners. Unit ready. Now, is that building. the technician just walking around ready. having no idea Unit what to do? Oh, here ready. comes a tank. Unit that ready. tank is building. most certainly uh, moving somewhere. We have a lot of our tanks, however. Yes, we could just send our tanks to go and deal with theirs. Let's have a tank battle. You're one versus my many. You can't actually get through, so uh, this isn't going to work out for you. Nope, that did not work out for you. I think we need another tank. If in doubt, more tanks. If in doubt, move our units way down here. Also, kind of need to go and deal with something. And by something, I mean we need to go and deal with that uh, technician. He'll be annoying later if I forget about him. There we go. Excellent. Basically, at this point, we have found, I think, where the uh, base is. I can confirm this by heading over here and uh, up in this direction. I think this is where the uh, GDI base is. Am I right? I'm right. This is where the base is. We could lead uh, this unit here through the Tiberium, or they could just go that way themselves. I wonder if they have the capability to build um, tanks themselves at this point. Because of the sheer amount of them that they're getting, it would make sense. We could send a small unit of um, tanks here. Yes, and by arrived. small, I mean... Look at that! That's much better. Much better. Here come the GDI forces. A small smattering of them. And there are our rocket units. You are not doing a very good thing there by... Um, we could lose that SAM side if we're not careful. If we're not careful, we could lose that. Let's send some infantry to help. Okay, we nearly lost it. Nearly lost it there. We need to repair that quickly. And here comes a tank. We could send the recon bikes to uh, slow it down. It's not going to do much. It might do a little. Recon bikes are actually quite good at dealing with uh, targets like that. There we go. Well, especially when they're distracted. As you can see, the AI is not super impressive. But we should be able to do a fair bit of damage with the minigunners that we have. We've got to make sure, however... Is that a harvester? No, it's not. It's a tank. I can deal with a tank. Also, you may have noticed that um, you can build something, and then it will partially finish, and then you can wait. Anything else needs repairing while we're here? That needs repairing. And these need repairing a little. A tiny bit. Alright, let's let these uh, units come forward and try and attack the uh, 
Try and attack the Sam side. Building. Because they will. There we go. And then while they're distracted, we'll send the uh, minigunners in. Where is that tank going? I do not know where that... You can see the tank's um, turret is focused on one particular target, which means they're going to ignore them. Oh! It's not ignoring the bike. Which is not good. We've lost our bike. However, five infantry uh, units here should be able to do a good job of destroying it. In fact, that one, uh, that one minigunner was doing a pretty good job. Give chase! Give Daka! Daka in liberal amounts! I think another tank will do here. Yeah, you were not paying attention to the right target there at all. I think we might have a substantial enough force that we could take down this base. I think we do. Let's have a look at how many uh, minigunners we have here. I think this might be a good start. Alright. We use the... Uh, you did not even get anywhere. That is much better. A little bit of improvement yes, goes a long, long way. Out. Let's send the tanks, shall we? Yes, Let's sir. send the tanks. Moving out. I think this might be enough. Unit Had a recon bike, Moving just out. to be uh, sure. Yes, sir. In fact, there are Affirming. so many units that they're having difficulty all going through. Yes, sir. But that's Moving okay. Out. That's okay. I'd rather take a little while getting all these units through, and Unit then um, get them through, Unit then just try and wedge them all yes, through sir. that Moving tiny out. gap. Yes, sir. Wait until we actually get turrets. Then we can... Oh, hello. It would seem like they're sending a force out. That may be a mistake, considering the fact that we're sending a force out. <laughs> while you're away, we'll destroy you. But while we're away as well, we might as well build a force. Also, the longer we're outside the boundary of the SAM sites, the more likely we are to have our... Um, more likely we are to have this force uh, attacked by the airstrikes. Alright. Let's deal with these first. We have a sheer amount of firepower that we are going to defeat them. There we go. And now... Where is it under attack? Oh, over there. Hello, lots of tanks. How are you? We could just send a few tanks to deal with that one. That seems like a good idea. Yes, sir. Three should do the trick. There we go. And this shows sort of the power level relatively of the uh, tanks in comparison. There you go. Excellent. Yes, sir. And now, the final attack. Disclaimer, this may or may not be the final yes, attack. Yes, sir. Here come the tanks first. Yes, sir. Moving out. Just to deal with, say, you the sandbags and... Ooh, that's gonna be a bit tricky, actually. If we yes, have sir. the uh, infantry a little behind, run. that should probably help. Yes, Alright, first, yes, deal sir. with this. There we are. Nearly gone. And gone. Oh, it's been sold. Yes, got it. Interesting got decision. It. A really bad decision, too. Because we have a lot of units. All right. Yes, sir. Next. Next, we yes, need to go and deal with this. Uh... Uh oh. A little worried that would happen, but it wasn't the worst that uh, it could possibly be. Unable to comply. Building in progress. There we go. Unable to comply. We'll build a few of these. Unit ready. And now we need to very carefully plan our attack. We could blow up these uh, sandbags here and try and bypass the. Um... Uh oh, that was not a good choice. They might be running out of units. Who knows? Who knows? All right. Yes, sir. Let's see if we can lure a few more out. Yes, sir. I think we can. Oh, and there's a tank. Now the attack begins. Quickly, quickly, we need to destroy this um, this barracks, and we need to destroy that gun. Gun's been sold. That's a good sign. All right. Now we get the barracks. And with the barracks destroyed, we should be able... There we go. No more units there. And there's the weapons factory, which means when we get rid of that, we're not going to have any more vehicles built. I think it's safe to say we might have won. Just maybe. Just maybe. Excellent. Goodbye, technician. It took a little while to do... But eventually, destroying the um, harvester most certainly helped. Yes, sir. Now they have no radar! 
But also, we have no uh, inventory either. We kind of lost all of the mini gunners. Yes, yes, sir. But that's okay. Sheer firepower on the day. Yes, sir. Oh, selling yes, sir. the silos. Are you selling the yes, silos sir. to try and build something? That's not gonna work. Not at all. For now, your construction yard is under attack. And with that, one last unit here. Mission accomplished. Mission complete. Excellent. It took a while, and the efficiency was kind of terrible. We did end with a fair amount of credits. I don't want to look at the casualty rate. It wasn't good, but they lost more units than we did, and that's what matters. As for, um, buildings lost, we didn't lose any, and they lost nine. So, let's, uh, get a high score here, and have a look at the map. Is this the first time that we get a choice? Progression there- Whoa, that's a lot of progression. They also gained quite a bit, and we lost a bit as well. We have three choices here. Three choices. And you know what? I'm gonna pick a completely arbitrary decision. Um, we're gonna go for the left-hand one. The Ivory Coast. I don't remember what this mission's like. Hopefully it's a good one. I was starting to trust you, but now Kane has asked for your services specifically. He thinks you can handle this. GDI has imported a nuclear detonator, and Kane's intelligence shows it hasn't even been unpacked yet. Since you seem so brilliant, sneak into the GDI base with a small task force, find the crate, and get out, if you can. And if you're lucky, I'll have a helicopter waiting for you. I don't think Seth likes us anymore. I don't think he likes us at all. And so, when we come back, folks, We'll see if we can sneak out that uh, nuclear detonator. And so I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. But hey, previous mission complete. Let's see if we can do this one with our non-existent base. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs>